look at how to import a script or screenplay into Yamdu. So if you don't see an option to import, we first need to go into Scenes, then Settings, and make sure that the option to work with scripted content has been selected. Now going back to the script section, we can import a screenplay in virtually any file format. So if you prepared a script in something like Word and you follow the industry formatting requirements, you can upload that as a PDF. And we also have a few options of importing the screenplay, like from our device or for the purposes of learning, we can even import an example screenplay. And we can even select one from the files and documents section in Yamdu. Clicking that will let us select an object, in this case a script, that we want to import to this section. We'll see the latest version of the script that was recently uploaded, but for now let's go and select this file. Uh, the pop-up here will give us an overview of the file that we're going to import. So we can quickly go over and make sure that this is the script that we want. Moving on to the next page, which can also be done using the tabs up here, we'll see our scenes laid out under the Detected Scene column. And they'll actually be categorized as a newly created element since we don't have any scenes in our project as of yet. Then we'll see the final results in the right-hand column, which in this case are the same 12 scenes, or 13 if we count the split scene separately, that we detected in the file. Clicking on the individual scenes, uh, we'll see that everything is colored green since this is a completely new scene. On to sets. Because we imported this information from a previous script, we'll see that the actions column has the same information as the detective section, which really means that all we need to do is check it over and make changes to it if needed. Otherwise, we can move on to characters which again have been imported from the last time. So let's just check that everything is matching. And finally, we have the summary, where we'll see that the current version has no scenes, 16 sets, and characters. And after the import, we'll be adding 13 new scenes and updating 8 sets and 7 characters. Under the advanced settings, we have an option to add a prefix to all the scenes, but we won't be needing that today. Now we have our screenplay and all the other scenes that have been imported. Here we have our first scene, and on the right-hand column, we have the different categories for when we need to do our breakdown. Going back to the scene column, we can create new ones by filling out the details in the pop-up window. We can input a scene number and use the drop-down menu to choose a set or an environment, and so forth. Next, we can sort the scenes by ID, set, shooting day, script day, or cast types. We can also do this by colors like environment types, sets, and location. And if we hit more, there are additional options for the screenplay, like exporting the current screenplay as a final draft file. Um, we can even view stats, like the number of pages, um, cast, filming locations, total scenes, and so on. And we can also access the status of the script from here as well. Of course, we can download script size and such, but that'll be for another video. We can re-import a new version of the screenplay if needed, which will also be part of another video. Next, um, if we choose to edit directly within a screenplay, that'll give us the formatting options in the toolbar up here. We can also create different script versions. So here we can create a new one and make adjustments to that version. Then we have the different stages or the status of the script. And if we hover over each option, we'll see that a personal draft is solely visible to us. A draft is visible to those with the access rights or permission. In progress implies that nothing has been finalized yet and final, which is complete and available for everyone to view. Then there are revision colors, which will help you discern the changes made to the script with every revision. Up top, we have the scene header. Expanding that will give us the description, which is taken from the first excerpt of the scene. 
And again, we can always make changes here just by typing away. We can also add notes for production and make comments. Um, we can mention someone to get a discussion started like this. And if we previously tagged elements from a scene, we don't have to worry since that information will be stored right here. As you can see, I've already added items from scene 1, like a silver necklace, safe, and mirror, which are all still here. Up top, we can also see the characters that were detected from the scene as well. And same goes for costumes. I also forgot to mention a few additional functions. Here, there will always be an option to delete scenes. We can also expand them to make them wider. And up here, we can use these arrows to quickly jump back and forth from one scene to the next or back to the previous one. The quick functions in the screenplay will give us some additional options like export and version comparisons. To show you this, let's quickly create a new script version. And add a new dialogue for the character James, nothing crazy, and hit save as version 2. Now if we go and compare, we'll see that the changes we've made are in green when comparing it to version 1. Going back to the scene section, uh, we have a different overview of the screenplay. Here is scene 1 along with all the information relative to the scene in the columns. And again, we can apply changes directly to each scene and define a new script date. Or um, we can add or remove characters and add extras. We can also start assigning units. And because we don't have an active shooting schedule yet, we don't see anything for the shooting days. But that'll change once we schedule the scenes. And as always, we have the quick functions that will give us some additional options to duplicate scenes, uh, merge them, or split them into two. And of course, we can show and tag the screenplay right here. And this can also be done within a scene page right here. Or if we scroll down, we can tag elements manually. On another note, we can edit a scene's information from its relevant page. Just like we did in the scene overview. If we go to tag the screenplay, we'll be led to the script page again, where we can tag a screenplay from here. So we have a couple different options to tag a script. And back on the scene page, we've got some additional export options. As well as some for downloading script sides. We can also delete all scenes if we need to. See statistics. Sort scenes. And select multiple scenes here to delete them. Next, we can also make changes to the environment and create new ones here. Or we can do that in the settings. If we click on an environment, we can create a custom color using the wheel. Or we can input a specific code to get the color that we're looking for. And as always, we can also edit the text just by clicking and typing away. That was a comprehensive look at importing a script and editing it in Yamdu. Check out our other tutorials for a detailed look on specific Yamdu features.